today we're going to build an F-16 fighter jet. It's gonna be quick and easy to build. This airplane is made to fly fast. We will start by printing the templates that you can download from the link below. We will use foam board as the main material to build this airplane. The foam board is a very good material to build this airplane. It's very easy to use and cheap. So let's begin cutting out the shape of the airplane. We will do this for both templates. Once we have the cutouts done, we will put them on top of the foam board. I will use them just to draw the silhouette using a marker, but you can also glue this and leave it on. Once we have glued or drawn the silhouette, I will use a precision knife to cut it. If you use a new blade, it will be easier to cut. Just cut it slowly so you don't make any mistakes. We have our first part ready. For the side view of the template, we're going to cut it in half. We can do this before or after we glue this on top of the foam board. And now we do the same procedure we did before. We have ready the top part. And we are finally done with the cutting. And now we are going to do a very important step to improve the aerodynamics of the airplane. Using the blade at a 45 degree angle, we're going to cut all the edges of the wings so that we make kind of a wing profile and that way the air will go through very easily. You have to do this for the leading edge and trailing edge of the wings and stabilizers. You have to be very patient to do this. If you use a very sharp blade, it will be easier to cut, but be careful not to cut yourself. Now we have to glue the parts together, which is a very simple step. I'm going to use hot glue for that. To make the glue stick better to the material, I'm going to use the blade to make some scratches and roughen the material a bit more.
as you can see the airplane is taking shape and it looks more like an F-16 now. To reinforce the unions, I use an extra bit more of hot glue and then I use another piece of foam board to scrap it off. Now I'm going to use a fine sandpaper to sand off the edges a little bit more and soften the edges of the trailing and leading edge of the wings. This could have been done when we were cutting the edges of the wings, but if we do it at the end we can soften all the edges of the whole airplane. Make sure that the whole structure of the airplane is aligned, so everything must look straight. This is very important so the airplane can fly without any deviation. The horizontal stabilizers, these ones, are going to be bent downwards, just like in the real airplane. But for now we're going to establish the CG, or center of gravity, of our airplane by attaching these two coins. The positions where the coins are going to be placed are indicated in the templates. You can use any kind of tape or glue to attach the coins there. Now, if you hold the airplane with your fingers in the points indicated in the template, it should balance well. Now, the horizontal stabilizers are going to be bent, as I said before, like this, and can also be bent in the other axis a little bit upwards to generate lift. Now, you can change this depending on the behavior of the airplane when you launch it. And the last thing I'm going to do is to make it look better. So you can paint it or make any patterns in it so it looks the way you want it to look. So now our airplane is ready to fly, so let's go out there and make some throwings. Remember that you can bend the horizontal stabilizers to make it go up or just make it stable in flight. You can also bend the wings a little bit to make it turn, but that's more of experimentation. This airplane is made to go fast, it's more like a rocket, so you have to throw it very fast to maintain flight. You can also use rubber bands to launch it. And you can also experiment adding more weight or subtracting it. For now, if you really like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, if you would like to be notified when I upload a new video, just hit the bell button. I'll see you in the next project.